Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day this is so for you. Welcome. English today, Mijanki Quay. Your friendly, friggy ass, sweet grass water medicine woman. That's right. It's me, I'm here. On a men ending Monday? Hmm? Mindful Mondays. Make the most of it Mondays. I don't know, how was your weekend? It's not always a happy weekend for everybody. Not everybody believes in the Valentine's or the, you know, how somebody to sharing it with, whatever that is for you. So how was that for you? Did you love yourself? Did you do something special for yourself? Because, you know, that's where it begins. It all begins with it. Begin begins within the net. Yes, it does. It all does. So I'm going to, um, we're going to hop right into the medicine woman, see if we get, uh, we're just going to keep going until we have one, one major arcana that comes out, kind of, kind of set the tone for the week. I'm kind of liking this and how it comes up. But with, with, um, since we just passed the loop, did Valentine's Day yesterday, hope you had a great day. <clears throat> There's things that I like to share with you, what I do too, to keep in my little fantasies. I call myself the hopeful romantic and... You know, even to the point where I had, like, send them to my door. And then, like, years ago, right, I had a little, I called my texting boyfriend. <laughs> Only saw him face-to-face -face six times. But years, you know. I think even just last year I heard I heard from him randomly. Just a little check-in at this COVID thing. So, he's out in Alberta. Anyway, so I wanted to share with you, because I wrote this poem. Um, 12... So December 19th, I wrote this December 19th, 2020. So and it was, okay, and this is how I want to feel. So and that's where we begin with and get in touch with those feelings, how you want to feel in your relationships. Not what do you want from your relationship. How do you want to feel within that relationship? You know, and let it kind of match from there. And it might not be, right, what you thought it would be, right? <laughs> You know, you just you just never know. And then you be open to it's those feelings, right? You don't get attached to that one person right there and try to make that person make you feel that way because you know, um, you force it, right? Whatever you resist, persist. You keep pushing something; it's not going to feel right. Whatever that is for you, I don't know. So December nineteenth, twenty twenty, I put out my wishful feelings. So and that's how I want to feel. Your love makes me feel alive. It sets me free. I feel like I can do anything. Your love is all I need. In the dark you found me, almost consumed by the shadows that bound me. In the midst of the strife, you saved my life by wrapping your love around me. Your love made me feel alive. It set me free. Can't hold it in. Gotta let it out. Wanna sing and dance and shout. In tune with love's divine timing, expressing highest version of myself. You brought me back to life. You set me free. I feel your love flowing through me, lighting up a path to eternal peace. To internal peace. Ah, huh? eternal, internal peace. I wrote internal, but yeah. Anyways, leading me to my destiny. With your love, I can do anything. So that's how I want to feel. That's what I put out there, right from my heart and soul, pouring it right out. And I thought, oh, I need to wait until this is done or wait. Right, we keep putting our lives on hold for what? Right? And this was another one. I can be with you in my dreams, even when I'm not with you in reality. I can dream that you choose me like I choose you for eternity. 
even if it's only in my dreams. I dream of the day my dream becomes reality. You'll take me in your arms and say, I choose you just as you are every day, every way. Mm, I love you, crazy car. Superstar. <laughs> That one, I think, was written... When did I do that one? That one probably in January. I think I wrote that one in January. Well, I was feeling something coming, right? Feeling it. I can feel the good things come, And I can. There's still... It's, um... Waves. Yesterday, I curled up in my bed crying. My pillows all snuggled around me and just... Miss my babies. And they're going to grow up and go. See, that's why when, if you have babies and stuff, like that, it's important to nurture your relationships too because your babies are going to grow up and go. So it's not their responsibility to take care of you. And what are you going to do when your children grow up and go? What if you're left there again? You say you're, you're, you're in that relationship. Everything's been fine, right? But you've focused on the kids and you haven't taken time. You haven't done date nights or whatever. And then the kids are gone. That's what happens a lot of times at the end of when the the empty nest or whatever, maybe those relationships then fall apart or whatever because it was all based on the kids and not based on those two people, right? And that relationship, right, is there. We should put that because the kids need that, that security, that foundation or whatever. That needs to be a priority too. That's for the kids, you know? And it's like, yeah, you're going to move out and leave me, but <laughs> this one's not, so... <laughs> Right? They're gonna go and grow they're gonna grow and go. Which is what we want them to do, right? So nurture those relationships. Right? They see the adult needs that too, right? So don't forget, don't make your life all about your kids. Because that's not fair to your kids, really. That's not fair to your kids. Kids won't grow up and move on because if they're afraid that their parent is gonna be sad about that or whatever, they'll hold themselves back. So don't do that to your kids. Don't limit them. Let them let them grow, let them glow the way Creator intended them to, right? And let them go. Mmm. You love something set it free, right? <laughs> right? We don't own anything anyways. People are not possessions. Well, righty, let's get into this. Okay. All of our energies from the East path of illumination and clarity place of fire place of man calling back all of our energies from the south that's the waters the emotions the place of childhood and innocence <sighs> calling back all of our energies from the west that's the physical the earth the woman place of introspection <sighs> calling back all of our energies from the north it's the air and the wisdom years the mental walk a red road from childhood right your heart is home it's in your Right? When you go by our feelings, we have play, we have fun, right? Hopefully, hopefully you got that. Right? If not, we can always go back. It's never too late to play and have fun. Keep that inner child alive, that playful heart, right? But don't let her drive the bus. Uh, and that's just the play bus. That chariot up into the wisdom years, then we know. We become those whirling rainbow warriors of peace. We know all the colors, everything that happened in our life all came and all empower us now. It's all part of who we are. If we've integrated that, hopefully we've integrated that, right? And we find our heart is home. It's here. Our home is this body, right? For now, on this earth walk, home is everywhere. We're part of everything, whatever that is. Okay, east to west is the blue word of spirit, right? Except the spirit's part of us. Always, right? Teaching Lodge, of the arrows, that's the liberator. We're freeing our minds, right? We're soaring with those eagles, it's teaching. It's not about what other people think. Others might be looking on, we'd be that example that we see. Spirit is there, we can connect, and we can show others how we can connect, right? Or we can do it in groups and connect in groups and bring this energy in and whatever that is for you, right? But we look here first to guide us, to guide us all. Ah, speaking with him, right? Just don't worry about guiding. Oh, let's just focus on one. It's hard enough to deal with, right? <laughs> it's the West, Blue Road of Spirit. And there we go. That's the Ascension, the Star, and the traditional deck. The grandfathers who have walked before us. And they're still there, right? They're leading the way. If we connect in with them to our guidance, our source, right? Maintain our roots in that earth. 
Mm, that's why spirit says spirits with us through that as well. <sighs> Above, <sighs> below, <sighs> and within. Okay, inspiration and excitement. Feeling something coming. Inspiration and excitement. So we're going to leave that there. We'll leave it a little side note. We just want the one major arcana. Kind of thank you, creator. Just give us one. One major arcana to look at. We're just going to leave that one right there until we get that one major arcana of her to look at. Okay. Right. Oh, and then I'll move that closer too. Right? Okay? Weirdo. One major arcana we're going to read in the book to help us go today. Nope, that's that. But noticing needs. That's what we want to do. Notice needs. Notice your needs first so you're not projecting them on anybody else. Thank you, Spirit. Your main message this week. Thank you, Creator. Nope. Spirit freed. Doubt overcome by action. Take that action step when it comes to you. It inspired and that excitement. It builds up and then you act from spontaneity. Not impulsive. Right? You take that action. Spontaneity, right? Whew, we get over that fear and we go. Doubt overcome by action. Inspiration and excitement is something building up in you. What is that? What is that? You feel the good things coming too? Oh, thank you, Spirit, for one major arcana. Passing on knowledge. They're passing on knowledge. Well, there's one right there. That's the guide up the mountain. Completion. Foundation. The hermit. That's the Virgo card. The guide on the path up the mountain. Well, we want one to jump out, Spirit. Then we know that it's you talking. Oh, thank you. Ouch. There we go. Healing. But we already read that one, didn't we? Did we read that one out? Healing strength. Hmm. I cannot remember. I know that's popped up before, but how we read it? I did read that other one. Did we read that one? I don't think so. So guess what? We're reading about the healing. Number eight. Number eight. Number eight. Eight, that's what I'm that's my number in numerology. Yeah, I'm gonna bring this up closer to you. Ouch. Yep. I'm gonna put this right here. Healing. Right there. There we go. Uh, healing. We get that inspiration. We're inspired to heal. What inspires you, right? What is that? I don't. I don't know what's healing in you. Oh, we all need to heal this love and what it means to be loved and what loving relationship is and what we need from that, right? The noticing needs what we can give, or is it about what we can get, right? Earth is eternally fertile, right? A Lord through opposition. These ones are here too. I'm just going to leave them there. That's like that there. Okay. Oof, man, oh man, this is hurting. I'm a slow. Let's see. There. Woohoo! That sure hurt it too. Okay, so you can see that. Alert to opposition, right? We act like we see that we already we have already need. It's already fertile. So we know we don't need that, but that's how it comes in. When we're not with that energy of grasping, right? Because we only lose what we cling to. I think that's a Buddha saying or whatever, right? Ooh, and sometimes holding on does more damage than letting go. Have you seen that one on Facebook? Like if you're holding on to a rope and it's being pulled, right? It'll do more damage for you to hang on because it's ripping your skin away than it does for you to let go. So let's look at that. And I like to say the only way I give up is to give up to Creator. Creator, God, whatever you want to call it. That's for you. That's how I give up. Okay, I give up. <laughs> and then I try not to take it back and say, you're taking too long with that. No, okay. So here we go. 
<clears throat> Let's just le read the quick inspiration, and then we'll jump into the uh, there, the pipes. I don't know if I've read the pipes yet, have I? What the pipes represent. The suit of pipes is also known as wands or rods in other decks. These are the instruments of conduction. The suit of pipes depicts the energy that flows through you as breath, life force, sexuality, and creativity. Whereas stones speak of solid things, work, and continuous distribution of resources, pipes speak of airy processes like imagination, inspiration, and artistic expression of self and spirit. Life flows through you, stimulating desire, passion, experience of beauty, flowering, and fulfillment. Here you learn to play, to master instruments that bring spirit to life, including the final mastery of yourself as an instrument of divine grace and power. The culmination of Pipe's energy is the passing on of something of lasting quality. This could be a work of art, a child, how? Oh, or a life, or a work of a lifetime. Oh, perhaps it will be all of the above. In the suit of pipes, you learn to channel inspired energy through your body into creation of a material nature. As you move around the medicine wheel into the bowl's quadrant, you will learn just the opposite, to spiritualize the material. With pipes, you are materializing the spiritual. They are opposite but complementary energies on the wheel of life. In the medicine woman tarot system, stones and arrows are opposite each other as well. You can think of stones as teaching you to recognize and gather resources, and arrows as doing the, with resources something that furthers your direction, the direction of spirit as it flows through your particular life. Each suit or energy is part of a whole, a part of a great balance that must be kept. One energy is not better than another. Each has its own circle that must be completed within itself. And this is what the cards of each suit show you how to accomplish. Each suit is a wheel within a greater wheel. Each lesson or series of 14 lessons ends another, uh, as each lesson or series of 14 lessons ends, another lesson or series begins. The circle Goals are ever entwining and spiraling outwards. Ever entwining and spiraling outwards. <laughs> Say that ten times fast. The energy of the pipe spirals from the base of the spine up through the top of your head and back down again. Your body is a pipe, stem and bowl, male and female, uniting the spiritual smoke that rises up to the Creator uniting in the spiritual smoke that rises up to the creator. Whether you use a peace pipe, which they just, it's just a pipe, or a pan pipe as your symbol of this energy, a flute or magic wand, your symbol will remind you to breathe in life and breathe out creation. Your body, as you learn to purify it and use it consciously, will become a better and better conductor of this life force. Eventually, it will be a magic wand itself, a powerful tool for your own transformation and that of the world. And here we go, inspiration and excitement. The Ace of Pipes. Is there anything on the other side there? Yeah, a little bit on that side. Okay, okay, ow! So the Ace of Pipes says the prayer, Great Spirit, I am ready. Great Spirit, I open my day with a prayer to you. I look to the east, to the rising sun, and I seek direction. It is springtime in my heart, and I am ready. I listen for your call, and am ready myself to receive that, the wand of power. Ignite me in the energy of creation. Inspire a life divine. Awaken in me all possibilities. Oh, I just got some tingles. Okay. Whew. The lesson. Awaken to your inner resources. The magic wand of creative sexual energy is stirring. 
This is the kind, this is the kindling of desire, depending on the level at which your consciousness resides. You are feeling one with the following, a strong need for personal space, an increased awareness of your own body, a deep drawing toward family or friends, and a desire to be a part of a group that needs you, or extra energy to express yourself, an overwhelming desire to do something useful and beneficial for the world, an urge to speak out, sing, or otherwise be heard, artistic inspiration, or an increased longing to merge with God, however you see it. You may feel more than one of the above. I do. How about you? I do. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Puberty and menopause are two times in your life when the creative sexual energy column in your body is filled with excess energy. At these times, the universe gives you a boost of power to get on with your particular forms of self-expression. At other times, you must work spiritually to open to such energy gifts. You must open to love, inspiration, or higher consciousness. At these times, you are suddenly compelled to express, and you feel the freedom to do so. Your appetite is being whetted for a finer level of experience than you have ever had before. You are filling the pipe with fuel, the force that will eventually alter your consciousness. The pipes of Pan are calling you to the hidden nature of yourself with the capital S. The morning sun is dawning in your consciousness, calling you to the process of illumination. This is a new beginning for you, a new opportunity. Don't be afraid of its initial wildness. Ooh, chills. Okay. Healing, uh, feeling, the uh, healing, oh yeah. Feeling the healing, oh yeah. Are you feeling the healing too? Ooh. Maybe I haven't read it before. I don't know, so. Yeah, I don't know. Ouch, 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 ouch. Hopefully it's all in that thing. If it's not, oh well. Okay, so it's not a very long one, so that's good, eh? Oh, because we're already 23. <laughs> it's so hard to me. Oh, I need a massage. One day, one day. Uh, one day. Okay, eight, healing, number and meaning, eight. It means harmony and balance. The traditional name is the strength in the traditional card. The, the medicine woman healing. Medicine woman energy is healing power. Affirmation. All of my desires have aligned with my highest ideals. Thus, my presence heals. I look forward with confidence to the internal splendor of my love-filled life. The card speaks. Strength is the quality present in me when my mind and heart are working in the same direction. I have learned how to place my desires like a chain of roses, one intertwined with another, in a mutual compatible arrangement. I have rejected those desires that interfere with my main purpose in life, and I have seen how my talents and abilities, my deep felt longings and soul needs can all work together for my highest good. I have learned to use my creative imagination, trying out different arrangements until I see how I can transform what appears to be an obstacle into a benefactor. How I can transform what appears to be an obstacle into a benefactor. I have tamed the beast. What were once threatening forces, I now control through the power of my thought. Not by creating walls, but by making of the enemy a friend. Do I gain dominion? My power is the power of caring ways. My power is the power of caring ways. I possess the power of my inner convictions. 
my sexual life creative energy is channeled. So that's a slash is there. My sexual life and creative energy is channeled through the thoughts which I dwell upon toward the upliftment of others in service to the one. Hmm. I live within you. As you work with the cha as you work with changing the patterns of your own life, becoming conscious of your choices, you feel me grow. Uh, the energy I have to give you is infinite. Only the mind interferes with its limiting thoughts. As you change them, you open the door to my unbounded love and healing force. Oh. Self-questioning. What would happen if I stopped complaining? Would you have anything to say? What would happen mm -hmm. if you stopped complaining? Hmm. Exercise. Make a list of all that you desire, both qualities and things. See how one can lead to another. Arrange them in a hierarchy. Don't expect to do this exercise any faster than you can put together a jigsaw puzzle. So... Take some time with it. Meditation. Imagine yourself ready to take a journey to a garden of paradise where there awaits a healing woman, the healing woman, strength. Call upon her. Visualize her. Then listen to her speak to you. Do not judge her words, thinking you are only making them up. Refrain from telling yourself, this can't be true. Listen until there is a feeling of completeness. Analyze what has been said only when you are through. You may question her during the speaking, but be sure to listen to and accept her answers. She is waiting to talk to you, depending for her existence on your willingness to give her form in your mind. You give her form in your mind. Visualization. Picture someone you love. For 20 minutes, send that person loving thoughts in any way you can. If this person has asked for healing, see them healed. Later, don't ask them if they felt it. Simply observe any changes in them over the next few weeks. Oh man, like I, like I said, I've had this for years. I've tried that and it worked, it worked, it worked, it worked, it worked. Oh, hey, maybe you had a day where you just felt really good and that was the day I was sending it to you. Ah, I don't know. I've been doing it for years, so. Anyways, and that don't matter to me. But you can see. I don't need credit. I just know God says, yeah, yeah, you helped. You see that shine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's helped. So, the astrological sign for this card is Leo. Foods. Foods are nature's healers. Many books have been written on healing diets. Sometimes these diets and theories seem to conflict with each other, causing confusion in the one struggling to find the right way of eating. All natural healing diets, however, emphasize the importance of fresh, whole foods. Locally grown, non-chemicalized foods should make up the main part of your healthy, of your health-producing daily diet. Mm, not healthy diet, health-producing diet, daily diet. When you're, when wandering, when, <laughs> blah, 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 when wondering about specific substances, is this food, herb, drink right for me? In this particular moment, try the muscle test. To begin the muscle test, make an agreement with your body, mind. If that substance is good for you, you will be stronger. Place one arm out to the side, level with your shoulder. Have a friend push down after telling you to resist. You will notice your strength, or you will notice your strength or weakness. Then the then place the substance in question in your hand, over your solar plex, or in your mouth, and repeat the test. Are you stronger? Or weaker. If weaker, try tasting something wholesome. This will differ from person to person until you get a stronger response. Just to prove to yourself that it wasn't tiredness that made you weaker. 
A more thorough explanation of muscle testing can be found in Your Body Doesn't Lie by John Diamond, MD. Colors. Wearing green for healing and balance. Blue for calming and anesthetizing. Yellow for cheer. Visualize orange flowing through the body for healing of skin. Try red when feeling depressed or weak. Wear a particular color for three to seven days and you will clearly see how it affects your body both emotionally and physically. Um, healing strength. If you get a healing in a reading, it is probably telling you that you must be a healing force in the situation. You may have to work behind the scenes, but it is your consciousness that has the superpower to create a beneficial outcome. You must keep your mind in the light. Make sure you are envisioning potential success whether it be health, wealth, or conflict resolution. Your inner force is strong and can see through whatever trouble might be appearing. In fact, it may be so strong right now that you don't even see any trouble. All the better. Your state of high consciousness will automatically be resolving difficulties all around you without your even working at it. This is the strength of your bright inner vision. Let it continue to fill you with thoughts of love and beauty, and these vibrations will radiate from you quite naturally. It is the card of strength and healing that is best expressed in the Blessing Way prayer below. I will be happy forever. Nothing will hinder me. I walk with beauty before me. I walk with beauty behind me. I walk with beauty above me. I walk with beauty below me. I walk with beauty around me. My words will be beautiful. This is a prayer of the Navajo people. Visualize and inwardly feel the beauty of life surrounding you as you say it. The more you radiate healing, the stronger your healing force will become. Walk in beauty mm, right that's all awesome. you've already got everything you need and it comes to you just at the right time that's the healing you like you're already healed and it's there it comes to you acting as if acknowledging whatever mm. love you biggest heart hugs ever thank you for being you and shining your light through and everything you do you know what this world needs you oh yeah you've got that healing power too healing in you begins within and creates that ripple effect. Beautiful beings. Love you. Thank you.